and I'll see you at um, Charging Station. You know. I'll collect them, then you can do your meeting. And then I'll um, drop them off at um, Winchy Park and Ride, yeah? Yeah? All right, no, just me. Your mother's at a book club. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you, do you want me to um, feed them? No? All right, all right, all right. Love you soon. Bye, bye. See you then. Bye. Excuse me. Yes? Have we shagged? <coughs> oh, a, a, a big pardon. A few decades back? You look vaguely familiar. I had a one-off, maybe. No, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not a one-off type of guy. Are you sure? I, I mean, I I, I, I... I know my courting style. I'm sorry. I've always been a gentleman, either before or after. I'm sure you have. But I, I do recognize you from somewhere, I just can't place it. You went in Cape Cod in 77. No, I've never been to Cape Cod. Always wanted to. Oh, it's a shame. What about India, Goa? Uh, 81? Mm, no, not 81, much later. Oh. What about Mykonos? Early 90s. Paradise Beach, full moon? Not you, sorry. <sighs> not with me. You weren't at York University, were you? No, no, I wasn't. Uh, look, I've met many men in various countries, but the more you talk, the more I feel I've not really... I mean... I don't think your face ever sweated over me. <laughs> well, it must have made an impression on you. Your face? Yeah, it must have. Maybe we just talked. Maybe I was the odd one out that satisfied you just by talking. Would have remembered that gift. I'm sure you would. <laughs> you said you met many guys in various countries. Um, what did you say met? I mean, had sex with them. Oh, yes. Well, I suppose after a, a certain number, faces become a little blurred. Mm, only the insipid ones. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we try to find a country where you haven't shagged someone and maybe we can take it from there? I don't think so. I'm not really that fussed about testing your geography skills. <laughs> oh. Okay. Fair enough. Then we'll uh, never know. So you've um, um, travelled a lot, have you? Mm, fairly. What, you've had heartbroken lovers at every port? Pretty much. How many? Countries. Lovers. Why should you care? I'm a numerologist. I need to know my number in case, you know, if we were to take this any further. <laughs> Look, um... Sorry, what...? Uh, Jack. Jack. Look, Jack, uh... I'm sorry, but you're not even in the discarded queue right now. <laughs> but if we were to, you know, hypothetically speaking, um, what number would it be? Uh, I don't remember the exact number. Well, more than a hundred, less than one hundred and sixty-ish. Wow, really? Is that a lot? <laughs> yes, 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 it is. Really? 
And what are you, you're um, early 60s? 72. 72? Wow. Well, you don't look it. Well, that depends what you think 72 looks like. <laughs> well, you look amazing. Thank you. That's, uh, that's quite a few guys there. But hey, 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 who am I to judge? May West used to say a few orgasms a day keeps the doctor away. I just happen to like sex. Is that bad? No, oh, no, 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 not at all. It's, in fact, it's a, it's a turn on. Or, um, you're not the N word, are you? What N word? Oh. No, I'm not a nymphomaniac. Or an escort. Or a porn star, for that matter, either. I'm just a normal older woman who loves having sex. That's wonderful. Wonderful. I wish my wife thought like that. But I'm sorry to um, labour a point, but um, is it 101 or is 159 more likely? Gut feeling. Please. Amir was the last one. When was that? Last week. Last week? Where was that? In his cab. In his cab? Well, that doesn't sound much fun. He was from Bangladesh. Young, he's 50s, and he was quite good looking. Black cab? Uber. Rating? Two star, he got lost. <laughs> not him. Sex. Well, not far off. I'd say three out of ten. Three out of ten? Well, that's not very good, is it? Why? Not hard enough. I suppose he was either too guilty or too desperate. He was married. Ah, that explains it. Anyway, I looked at the total afterwards on my phone, and it was £15.90. And I thought immediately something inside just clicked. The digits, 159. You know, you get that feeling when you just know. I thought he might have been my 159th shag. Quite a realisation, I imagine. Did you pay? Why wouldn't I? Well, £15.90 seems a lot for a flimsy shack. I did, sadly. <laughs> well, you definitely screwed up on that one. Did you, uh, do you remember your best or worst shacks? Both, I guess. <laughs> Shameless people. Excuse me. All right. Now, well, let's say, um, the possibly the, the 159 shack. How many were a ten, and how many were a one? Numerologically speaking. Always. Well, nobody's been a ten. <laughs> really not. not there have been ten. plenty of twos, threes, fives, a uh, few eights, and, and one nine, but no tens. That's dreadful. <laughs> dreadful. I'm, I'm sorry to, to, to labour a point here, but uh, what's the difference between an eight and a ten? I mean. What do you expect a ten to do? Make me faint. <laughs> faint? Really, from what? Multiples. Multiples? Mm. That hasn't happened yet. The most I've had is three or four. Mind you, I've had some long ones. One lasted three minutes. Three minutes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what was he, some kind of um, Italian stallion? No, actually, he was Greek. Greek, really? Oh. Oh. oh, and the one was? Turkish, from Cyprus. What was so bad about him? He just wanted anal. Well, I refused, naturally. Also, he kept calling me Giaur, Giaur, <laughs> over and over again. Oh, thank God the whole thing was over in 20 seconds. Turkish is like that, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was, uh, that was a bad joke. So, um, what about us British? Five for effort. Mm. Entertainment? Four and a half. Four and a half, really? Well, you yeah. You obviously haven't met the right guy. All right, all right. There are a few exceptions, yeah. British men can be a six when on Viagra. <laughs> I suppose the, um, the Spanish is. Yeah, it's a seven. Yeah. And the French? Mm, I'm not into their siggy breath, so five ish. And what about the. Um, the Latin Americans, just, just to, you know, oh, well, change yes, the continent. An eight, clearly. Yeah. 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 Brazilian, especially hot, so... Finish? The finish? 
they finish too early. <laughs> so, <laughs> minus one. No, they're too drunk to perform like mm. most of the Scandinavians. Uh, what about the Germans? Not into fetish, so too. See, not, uh, not generalizing, I see. <laughs> okay. What about the Dutch? Now, I believe they start early and, the, you know, they're into visual incentives. Now, now, they are a bit more fun. One Dutch lady was particularly pleasant. Oh, God. Especially pleasant. Oh, she was a seven. Mm. Wow. Very attentive. And there was a Ghanaian. Now, he was an eight and a half or even oh, a no, nine. Come on, come yeah. on. So that's a bit of a cliche, isn't it? Oh, oh no, not because of what you're thinking. No, no, he was, oh, he was just terribly romantic. And the Aussies. Now, they could be an eight-ish if they just talk a bit. What, talk you know, dirty, you mean? You know, yeah, exactly. Oh, you uh, like a bit of dirty talk, do you? I love it. Me too. I like a bit of dirty talk. Has to be rightly paced, though. Of course, I mean, you must know how to do it. No. Not like the Chinese. They bark constantly in a really? weird, whispery sort of way. It's really strange. So is it, is it true then about the Chinese having um, small willies? No, no, average. No. What like? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not like one, one Canadian I met. <laughs> He could fuck a cheerio without breaking it. <laughs> you know, you should. Um, you know, you should write a book. No, no, no. You know, you should have. You know, you should have. You should have <laughs> took photographs of all those penises and put them in a book. Really? What sort of uh, name the country, rate the sex, and yeah. shame the ex? Absolutely, would have made a killing. Yeah, well, there's Inside. an idea. Oh, national pride. Start some kind of. Sexual Olympics, imagine that. Like that. Oh, imagine um, Trump, Putin, and Kim fighting it out. Oh, please, I'm not on the house. Oh, dear. I could be a 10, you know. I bet you're not a 10. Why should you say that? You don't look like a 10. Oh, okay. so, um, so what do I look like? A 4. A 4? How do you look at it? Boys, looks. Posture, mannerism, sex appealed oh, a lot. You you don't find me sexy then? No, sorry. Mm. You're more of a Bob. Bob? Bob, what's that? Nice, friendly, <sighs> good to tease. Not at all dangerous. Yeah, not like a like a Brad or a George. Oh, come on, they're not so hard boiled. No, no. What about Clint or Gary? It's that creative fury that I find so hot. <laughs> You are a savage one. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> All right, well, this looks like my stop. I get off here. Quite appropriately. Well, I'll let it rest with you. Well, um... Alice. Alice, Alice. So, a film student would say this is probably a definitive moment. It is, Jack. I think you've got a pen. Pencil? Ready to go, Jack. Here you go, mate. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, shortly we arrive at the charter station. Please be aware that this is a short platform. Please disembark only if you're in coach number one to five. I repeat, coach one to five. Please make sure when you leave the train you take all belongings with you. Cheers. Well, Alice, it's been nice talking to you. Bye, Jack.
kind of fancy a bit of Italian pepperoni, do you, darling? Yes. Whatever you fancy, trouble. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.